Catching up on Broforce here at uh, Gamescom, and uh, you've been along with the whole sort of journey from the start. So, yeah. and it's been been a, a long one. And, and just this week, or was it last week, oh, yeah. your Expander Bros yeah. came out. So, well, first of all, it's, it's just, let's go back to the beginning. What 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 was the sort of the offset? What what did you want to create with Broforce? Bro Broforce was it was a joke. It was. Let's make a game this weekend and see what happens. And we're going to put Rambo in it. And gonna, you know, if you get Rambo, why don't you put like a Chuck Norris character? You can put like Walker Texas Ranger in. And so all these kind of parodies of action heroes. And the game kind of wrote itself. We we didn't plan, you know, far ahead. And it just put it together. Um, and it just, it just felt felt good. And we had, we were working on another game at the time. And Broforce was more more fun. It was just this game that people seemed to enjoy and they liked it and it was like that was really encouraging. Eventually we scrapped scrapped our project that we'd been working on for six months and just said, Broforce, that's it. That's what we're gonna make now. And that was about two years ago, just over two years ago, and it's it's been it's been crazy, it's been so much fun. And it's as it's gotten bigger and kind of more known, it's just it's just so surreal that this was this game that we were just doing for a joke at the start and we're going to just give out for free and we did for a while and now suddenly it's on Steam and you know Dolph Lundgren recommended it so yeah it's, it's just been awesome. He's like this this testament of quality all the time <laughs> nothing that he would ever. No you know he, he only I mean poker's great right and he recommends that and Broforce that's the other thing so <laughs> he's a winner right. He, yeah. Absolutely uh, we, we love ourselves some Dolph. Um, and and we must break all the time. So uh, obviously there's there's a limit to because there's so many things you could put in a game like Bro for so many cliches, so many characters, so many things. Have you put a limit to yourself, or is is that sort of what you're struggling and why you're here two years later? It, something like that. We there's so many characters we want to put in. I think that it's 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 taken two years because the the initial game was really rough. And we listened to kind of what people were saying and kind of kept on improving it. And it's a bit of a long way to go about it. Maybe if we'd known at the start we were planning for this big game, we, we could have got here a bit quicker. But we, we didn't, it just, our, our ambition grew as it seemed like it was a better and better idea. Uh, we, do, we do try to put limits on the number of bros that we put in. Uh, there's, we've, we haven't really included any cartoon characters yet. Like, I really like, would love to have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Bros in there. That would be awesome, but it maybe doesn't quite fit with Rambo. They're actual bros. They are, they're such bros. So, so maybe, maybe someday with like DLC, it's like we could, we could carry on developing this forever um, and just keep on adding characters and that would, that'd be glorious, but we do have to be careful. Uh, some things maybe prioritize, put them in first, and then see what happens. Maybe post-launch, we, we just keep on adding more, more characters. And, and, and how was the sort of the Expander Bros uh, idea born, and, and what, what happened there? So we got contacted by, by Lionsgate, right? And so, so one of the guys there, David, David Edwards, contacted us, and he said, hey, well, he, he emailed us, and it was like very clear at the start, hey, I'm from Lionsgate, we're not trying to sue you. And that, that was good news. I was like, I heard like there's an email from Lionsgate. I'm like, oh my god, this is it. This is this is the time they're gonna take us down. They're gonna because they, they do the Expendables, right? And so he got us and he said, we love your game. Or like you know him and his like his like uh, department, like they're all playing Broforce, and that's like that's that's awesome. That's like there's these guys they're making Expendables, and some of them enjoy playing our game, and that's like that's really cool. And then he's like. Well, we could do this. We could do this tie-in for it. So, we we'd kind of always seen it, like Broforce as this. You know, it's it's a lot like Expendables. We'd all watched Expendables one at that when, before we came out with the idea, and it was very kind of based on that. And this is a kind of full circle back to, hey, we could do something for Expendables, and it, you know, and this, and just getting. I mean, we weren't paid to do it, but we're getting 
you know, getting some exposure and that kind of thing. But like really, for us, it was getting closer to uh, these action heroes and the, and the films that we'd been like working with there kind of stuff for so long and now some of them saw the game and they they liked it or they saw their the illustration of their character and they liked that and that's that was absolutely awesome chicken and egg in one big old yep. mess <laughs> exactly i mean people had said broforce is kind of like like what an expendables game could be and that's like that that was some of the first reviews i think on um like pc gamer and like uh, polygon and that and they compared it to the movies and was like we can actually do this we can make a good game for Expendables and it's, you know, it's a fantastic opportunity. Maybe the best way to do a license game as well is not, not to do a license game at all but just get <laughs> it this way. We'd already made the license game basically without the licenses so you know they say oh right you can have the license as well and yeah it, it worked out pretty well I think. So uh, speaking of modes uh, the modes that you got in there right now and, and do you have plans for more in the future? We'd like to uh, extend, we've got a deathmatch mode in there, we've got a couple kind of uh, cooperative, local co-op kind of party-ish modes. We'd like to expand that um, and we'd like to have a kind of lots of crazy things happen kind of party mode and like now you're on a jet and now you're riding an intercontinental missile and now, there's a, you know, now you're on a train and you're fighting or th that kind of thing. So like a, a, bit, a bit more, well a party mode that keeps on changing up the scenario and I think that would be like something that's kind of funny and you can like laugh and like pass the controller around on a couch and that kind of thing. We'd, we'd like to spend some time on that, yeah. Speaking of passing the controller around on the couch, uh, what, what platforms are you working on? So well, in any platform that has a couch atta uh, attached to it, we'd, we'd really like to <laughs> be putting Broforce in front of, in front of that. Um, so so it's, it's, def it's been confirmed for PlayStation 4 at this point. I think last night, and I'm not 100% certain, I think it was confirmed for Sony's uh, PlayStation Vita. Uh, we're hoping that there's some online play there so you can still play with your friends. Um, because we, we, you know, we really want people to be able to throw it up with someone else. Like that's, that's the point of the game. Um, maybe, maybe some other micro consoles or, or, or stuff. And maybe, maybe some other consoles in the future. But for the moment, it's definitely PC, Mac. Uh, probably Linux when, when the full release comes, and, uh, and 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 therefore also probably Steambox, and um, yeah, and then PlayStation 4 definitely and Vita. Yeah, so so you're pretty much out there with your development. People are sort of enjoying what you, what you put out there so far. Uh, what do you feel you got left to do, and and sort of what what's the future ahead? So we we've been promising kind of we we. So a lot of the inspiration for the game came from Contra. Contra, I mean, the original post of Contra, it's got like what is a slightly photoshopped version of like Arnold Schwarzenegger and like Stallone, basically from their screenshots from their movies on the poster of like the original kind of Contra games. And so like, some of the inspiration has come from that. So we, we were, I'd like to take it a little bit to that uh, Contra place with like the like aliens kind of theme. Uh, aliens come to Earth, and then, uh, and and you know, American action heroes have to fight them, and and, and that kind of thing. So it's, it's a bit more content there. We've got we've got the beginnings of that, uh, kind of round out that game with a few few new enemies and, and that kind of thing, and uh, in, improve improve the like the single player experience. Just add add more some more levels and uh, maybe a better way to get between the levels. So it's 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 a lot of kind of tying up the loose ends and. Um, you know, and, and add a few more bros as we go about it. Uh, it. It's a bit of it's still this game, which is kind of just pick up and play. But then, where does it go? What what what's the point? You know, there's no way to kind of quite feel like you've had the victory you're meant to have. So we've got to we've got to tell that story where you walk away and you've saved the earth and like and you know one man against against awards and that kind of thing. And when we've got that, we'll know it's complete. Sounds great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for the interview, man. Nice to meet you.